you need a website so i'm going to show you which one is going to be best for you i have links down below for free trials for every website that i talk about we're going to talk about shopify big cartel and squarespace and what is going to be right for you and the pricing let's get into it and today's video is sponsored by fiverr okay so let's talk big cartel now big cartel is not talked about a lot um because it's not like a huge website host but they are really great for a certain audience of people so if you are an etsy seller if you are a crafter if you sell handmade items if you don't sell a lot of items if you are in that handmade space diy space big cartel is perfect for you i'm going to show you some people um some sites that are doing really well on Big Cartel. And if these sites look like the type of items you sell, if you're selling cricket items, if you're selling handcrafted items, if you are uh, selling like farmer's market items, t-shirts, um, those type of things, Big Cartel is great for you. So Big Cartel is easy to get started, first of all, and they're the only ones that have a free plan. So you can list up to five items on Big Cartel for 100% free. Um, the only caveat is you can only upload one picture for the product that you're going to be selling so if you have your five products you only get one picture but if you're selling like print on demand t-shirts that's not a problem because you really only need the one photo of the the t-shirt so that is really really great so like i said free plan up to five items um in one image and then their platinum plan is like i said if you're like a crafter or anything this is great for you because their platinum plan is only 15 dollars a month it's pretty much like the cheapest website host there is out there and the best thing about big cartel um especially if you're like a crafter a cricketer um and you don't have the technical side big cartel is so easy to use like these sites look amazing um their interface is super simple inexpensive and this is for the person who is already selling their items um maybe you want to get off of etsy maybe you want to you're at a farmer's market and you want to sell online as well um maybe you just want to test the waters with the product um it, it, big cartel is great for you because you don't have to invest a lot um and they offer a lot it's still robust it still allows you to sell your items and not everyone websites are difficult like things are getting easier now but they're still difficult and if you don't have a lot of technical skills if you don't really want to learn you just want to kind of be able to sell online Big Cartel is the way to go. Okay, so let's talk about Squarespace. So Squarespace is a really great website builder for certain people or certain needs, I would say. So for content creators like myself, my website is hosted, like KiraDorsey.com is hosted through Squarespace because it's really simple, it's easy to display all my content creation items. Um, it really makes that easy for a content creator. Now, I'm gonna name a few different things that I think a Squarespace website is really great for. Um, that is for, like I said, social media content creators to have your own website. If you sell digital products, Squarespace is a really good way for digital products because they have a really great integrated system that makes it very easy for you to just upload your digital product and sell it. They already have that built in because a lot of people use their website for that. So it's great for um, digital products. I say it 5,000 times. <laughs> um, so service-based businesses as well. So if you have a lawn company, if you're a hairdresser, if you are selling um, consultations, if you are, you know, if you have a service-based business, Squarespace is the way for you to go. It makes it easy to have like calendars, people to select times and dates to book, like a booking site. Um, Squarespace is really, really great for that. I wouldn't recommend like any other website builder. So like I said, service-based business. If you are a chef, if you do pop-ups, if you have like a food truck, um, those type of businesses are great for Squarespace. I'll show you a content creator who posts their web. I'll show you mine too, but I'll show you um, they, and I actually copied my website after hers. <laughs> so if you ever see this, Jenna, your website is great. Uh, but Jenna Phibbs, she's like a home content creator. Her website is really great. I kind of copied the idea of her site for mine. Um, it's really great. It shows all her social media and stuff like that. So it's really great just to have a home page if you're a content creator. Um, also, if you're like an Etsy seller, Squarespace is a really great way to make that change because you can easily in integrate uh, web Etsy and Squarespace together. Um, so you can have people, I don't know how ne necessarily the integration works, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> it's an easy process, um, especially if you want to like get people from your Etsy to stop paying Etsy fees and all that kind of stuff and get them over to your website. Squarespace is a really great place to do that. Um, they also work with really great with integrations like for print on demand. So if you sell any like print on demand items, if you sell any like um what is it called drop shipping items anything like that squarespace is a really really great place 
to do that um because their their platform is super easy they have really great templates that you can get up and going and even if you don't like their templates you can easily go on etsy spend a hundred dollars and find a template for your squarespace website that you can install yourself that's super easy thousands of people hundreds of people thousands of people buy those uh, templates apply it to their store tweak the colors or whatever and then boom you have a website now squarespace does have to require you to have a little bit more knowledge but again it's not super robust and um require a lot of website knowledge like Shopify does um so Squarespace is a really great place to get started if you fall under those categories now you guys know I love Fiverr for any of my small business needs my content creator needs I just hop on Fiverr and get things done make sure you take my link down below to get 10% off so you can save some coin in your whole entrepreneurial adventures <laughs> but I got my website done on Shopify through a Fiverr freelancer and they killed it I'm gonna show you the website show you the freelancer show them what I show you the process of what I showed them to get this amazing website let's get into it answer that I worked with his name is Roger and the experience was amazing I ended up going with the standard plan which was $400 on a 10-day delivery and it was amazing as you guys can see I do tons of orders with Fiverr um, but let me go ahead and show you exactly our process so with this is not the right one <laughs> see I do so much work with Fiverr um, but this is Roger um, and as you can see we went back and forth I don't have my photo shoot pictures or anything like that I just had my brand identity and colors and Roger was able to deliver you see we went through a lot of back and forth he delivered my website a few times and we had to make some corrections but overall the experience was amazing um, and I would definitely work with him again it was worth every bit of the $400 now let me go ahead and show you my website and what they delivered and done the photo shoot yet but even without that the freelancer was able to make this exactly what I want so all I have to do now is do my photo shoot and plug in everything for my site and I mean guys this looks amazing they have the shop um, tab set up for me and I mean this thing is it's amazing it looks so good it has all the plugins that I want it has my logo here at the bottom it has a contact form um, I mean and even though he didn't um, didn't have pictures for the for like my photo shoot everything he still was able to set things up have product reviews i mean this thing looks amazing and it was worth every one of my 400 dollars so make sure to check my link down below and work directly with roger he was great and my website is everything that i wanted I recommend Shopify for serious sellers. If you plan, if for, oh, don't forget, I have a free trial. Well, not free trial. You get Shopify for three for 90 days for one dollar so that allows you to get up and selling to make you some money to pay for your website. <laughs> but outside of that, let's talk about Shopify. So Shopify is where all the big businesses do their business. Skims. Um, LL Bean, I mean any big website, nine times out of ten, they're going through Shopify. Shopify is super robust and allows you to truly sell your product. So if you are a brand like myself who plan on growing your brand and your website is how people are going to reach you, Shopify is the place for you. Um, they are for serious sellers, but with that comes a more complicated website. website um, not format isn't the word I'm looking for. But anyways, it's just more complicated site to use. Now, it's not as complicated as WordPress. I would never recommend anybody use WordPress. It's crazy. But <laughs> um, Shopify is really, really great for people who are actually going to be starting and growing a large business. If you want to be able to do pretty much anything you see on a big business, like Telfar, um, Telfar, if you're not familiar with them, it's like a streetwear brand. I sell purses and clothing and stuff. They do their website through Shopify. They're like my favorite um, example to use their website is robust they have thousands of products they have a checkout system they have a couponing system um, they have multiple categories multiple products multiple pictures they have pop-ups they have videos on their um, homepage they have a lot going on on their website 
why I use them is because a lot of websites are more simple. Telfar's website is like, rawr, you know, so <laughs> they have a lot going on and Shopify allows you to do that. And I mean, with Shopify, there's so many things you can get into. You can get into cart recovery. You can get into um, integrating multiple um, checkout systems like PayPal and because a lot of places don't offer PayPal on their checkout system. You can get Klarna. You can add all those things to your website. You can ha add an email list. You can add videos. You can add I mean, there's so many things you can add. You got so like I said, Shopify is really robust. I'll show you a little bit of my internal Shopify um, website. But again, they have so many plugins. You can pretty much anything you want on a website, you can pretty much do on Shopify. And so that's why it's so robust, but it is more complicated. But if you use a place like Fiverr to have them build out the website, all you do, because I haven't done my photo shoots or anything yet for You Can't Sit Here. Um, so I had them just build out my website so that when I'm ready, I can just go ahead and plug everything in. Um, they did an amazing job. Everything works and works great. The mobile website, cause you want to make sure that you're optimized for phones because nine, a lot more people shop on their phones than they do on desktop. Um, so you make sure they, they make sure they optimize it for mobile. Um, overall the website is amazing. So I'll link the seller that I worked with. I would 100% recommend them. Um, I spent $400 on getting the website built out worth every penny. It looks amazing and I would never have been able to do it myself. And in the grand scheme of things, $400 on a website is not a lot. There's websites that people spend tens and twenties and thirties and forties and fifty thousand dollars for. So for 400 bucks, I was able to get an amazing website that I can go in and plug all my products, all my photo shoot items, everything into it. And it is when I'm ready to launch, all I have to do is just press play. Press play, press launch, whatever. Um, for my brand, you can't sit here. And also, guys, just a little tip. If you are a small business owner and you have good ideas, keep them to yourself. Um, because sometimes people will try to steal your ideas and then um, it's not great for you. <laughs> people do it to me all the time. They steal my ideas and things that I do. So just protect your your. Um, Protect your ideas, protect your, your things that you're selling, especially if it's something really unique. That's just a little tip for me to you. Um, so guys, make sure I got free trials down below for Shopify, Big Cartel, and Squarespace. Make sure you use my links, and I hope this helped you get a website. Let me know what website host you're going to be using for your products, and I hope this video was helpful. My name is Akira, and I'll see you in the next one.